Yep, you heard that right, Vice is making golf clubs. I've known Vice for their affordable golf balls and accessories, but now you can add golf clubs to the resume. Vice just dropped their Wonderkin lineup. That includes these two irons, which I'm reviewing in this video. They also just dropped two putters and a set of wedges. I reviewed that in my last video, so if you haven't seen that review already, you can watch that at the end of this video, or if you just came from that video, thanks for coming back. Guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, my name's Brandon, I run New Nine Golf, and I do club reviews just like this one. If you like the quality at the end of this video, smash subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me get clubs like these before the release so I can review them. So the new irons in their lineup are called the Vice VGI-01 and the Vice VGI-02 stands for Vice Golf Iron. The VGI-01, they categorize as a player's iron. This is for your mid to low handicapper. You hit the center of the club face more often than not. You like to work the ball. After looking at this club for a little bit, I'm gonna categorize it more as a player's distance iron, mostly because of the loft and because it's a hollow body design. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. The VGI-01 would compare to like a Titleist T200 or a TaylorMade P790. This VGI-02 is for the majority of you watching this video. This is the game improvement iron. This is for those mid to high handicappers. You want distance and forgiveness, and that's what this club is supposed to be. This would compare to the TaylorMade QI. This would compare to the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. Those more forgiving heads, this is for you guys. And if you're already thinking about buying Vice Clubs, I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video so you guys can find out where to get them. But I need to hit one of these things, so let's get into the review. I was dying to hit one of these and that felt so good. I'm gonna start with the VGI-02 because this is probably for the majority of you watching. That hit felt so good, so, so good. I'm hitting a six iron. That went a mile. A six iron that carried 225, 237 total is disgusting. We're filming in Calgary, Alberta. We're using a Trackman and a Pro V1 RCT ball. The Trackman's set to about 3,400 feet because that's the elevation that I play at here in Calgary. Now I know that it might be a little tough to relate to me and to my ball flight, but I'm gonna be hitting both just so I can kind of compare the two, just so you guys know what I'm feeling, seeing, and hearing. So far this head feels really good. I've hit a lot of game improvement irons and those first two hits felt as good or better than everything else that I've tested this year. Like two swings out of the gate, that felt really good. Looking down at the club, it does look a little chunky. I'm confident that you can put this beside a TaylorMade, a Callaway, a Ping, and I don't think you'd be able to pick out which one of these is a vice club. The top line is like a satin or like a, what would you call this? I think it's like a brush steel. It's not uh, shiny by any means, but looking down at it, there's a, a very minimal offset, and I think it, it looks quite appealing looking at it. I'm sure a lot of you guys wanted to see a comparison of this Vice iron versus the other current irons. The problem that I had doing a comparison is that Vice sent me a six iron, and all the other fitting irons I have are seven irons. At the end of the video, I'm gonna compare these to data that I had from 2022 game improvement irons. They're all six irons, so it's a much closer comparison, just to give you an idea how the Vice stacks up against other brands. These VGI O2s come in at 139 per iron. So if you get a set from pitching wedge to five iron, you're looking at 834 for a full set of irons. Here's our first little miss hit. That was low on the face. <laughs> Super forgiving. So I told you I'm hitting a six iron. Because this is a game improvement iron, the loft is basically of like the four iron that I would typically play. So for these to go 217, 234 on a miss hit, right down the line, they feel good and they're extremely forgiving. I like these so far. Something I haven't told you guys yet are where these are built. These are made in Germany. Vice is a German company and they partnered with the biggest club builder and club fitter in all of Europe to build these golf clubs in Germany. That's pretty cool. A little pulley, a little bit. These irons have the sound of almost like a, like a driving iron or even a hybrid. The sound is just kind of this high pitched like ping and it kind of whistles off the club face. It's not loud or annoying. I just find it's like a higher pitch sound than a lot of other competitors. This VGI-02 is their cast iron and it has milled finishing where the VGI-01 is forged. The forging process takes a little bit longer to make and the outcome is usually a little bit better feel, but cast irons have been around forever and they feel almost just as good. Ping has been casting irons forever. Bulky wedges are cast. So with this being cast, it still feels really good. I might have to put these in the bag. Honestly, like a, like a four and five iron, 
I would seriously consider putting these in the bag. So this is a two piece head construction and it's a hollow body design. Most hollow bodies I hit go a fricking mile. So for a six iron for me to be carrying like almost 30 yards further than normal is crazy. So for those of you that are a little bit inconsistent in your game and you want some forgiveness, you want the ball to go high and go far, like I'm sold. <laughs> I can't even say that in a review, but these feel so, so good out of the gate. Felt a little left. It's got that good crunch sound. Oh yeah, like honestly, these feel so good. Even though that was like a little pulley, but you're right, the sound of it, it it's hard to describe with another adjective that's not good. <laughs> Like, like it sounds so crisp, very clean. And it's also hard for you to come off the top, like you're not trying to sell their clubs. Yeah, I'm not trying to sell their clubs, I'm trying to test them. But I don't want to feel bad about saying that they feel really good. Yeah. Right? Insane. The majority of manufacturers now are playing with weight and loft to help you average golfers get more height on the ball and help them go further. For someone like me, I don't need extra distance, I don't need extra height, but I can see so far in their product that this will produce a higher ball flight and you're hitting it further. They feel really good, they look good. Like I am really, really blown away by the quality of this club. Let's look at my data and kind of just see what that looks like. Looking at my data really quick, I can see on my shot tracks that I had two get away from me, kind of two pulley left, but the majority of them were like right near the line. And this isn't even a fitted shaft, this is just a stock shaft that they sent me. Something that stands out would be my carry total, 221 with a six iron. These are like my four iron numbers and taking lofts into account, that makes sense, but I don't hit my four iron this high. So again, if you want distance and height, this is a really good option. Look at my dispersion really quick. Really good collection with a six iron. I'm thrilled with that dispersion. Like I said, I had these two get away from me, but a lot of them are right near that. To be that accurate at 240 is insane. That's why I'm actually considering <laughs> putting a couple of their longer irons in my bag because those felt really good. These irons that they sent me are actually still like prototypes. They wanted to get these to me as soon as possible so they didn't even get a chance to do a paint fill. With these vice irons, you can fully customize them. You can change the paint fill to black or blue or green or whatever fits your fancy. When I reviewed the vice putters and wedges, there was a couple things that I could get picky with. I literally have nothing to complain about this VGI-02. Feels good, sounds good, looks good, price is really good. Like this is probably, this is probably in the contention for the best iron of the year. Like I don't get blown away by irons very often. It feels uncomfortable for me to be saying how much I like something to you guys because I try to be as unbiased as possible, but these are freaking awesome. Let's take a look at the VGI-01. Well, I was setting up the camera and you told me, I don't know how many times you told me to try, you gotta hit these. <laughs> like I've never actually seen you this excited about right. them, so. Vice Golf says that all of their golf clubs will be built by hand at a fraction of the price of traditional golf brands. So far I'm blown away by that VGI-02. So now let's check out the VGI-01, their player's iron. The first thing that I noticed picking up the VGI-01 is that it's heavier. So that's the first thing that I feel just with it being in my hands. But let's start hitting it and see what we can uh, generate here. Definitely a different feel. The feel is a lot more muted and maybe in the sound, it doesn't have like that same ping sound as the VGI-02, but that still went a mile, man. 227 carry, 240 total with a six iron. Ugh, nuts. The VGI-01 is 26 degrees in loft at their six iron. This is still a much stronger loft than the six iron that I played in my Titleist T100s. My T100's like a 30 degree loft, this is 26. So again, we're up into like my five iron, but I would say that these lofts are a lot closer to like a tailor-made P790. So that's why I'm thinking it's a player's distance iron. I think my timing's off just a little bit, playing with like that really light head, getting used to that, and then swinging a heavier head. Really good height out of a six iron too. Like these are going really high. 120 feet with a six iron is really good. I find that the forgiveness level isn't nearly as high as obviously a game improvement club, but for this being a player's, player's distance iron, I don't feel like I'm peering it by any means and I'm still getting 220 carry, 236 total, hitting it high. I'm not as blown away as the VGI-02, but I still think that this is actually a pretty decent player distance iron. I feel like these numbers are better than the club feels if that makes sense. Like it feels okay, it looks okay, but these numbers are 
insane. Like that feels okay. And let's see what this comes out at. <laughs> 225 carry, 240 total. That didn't go as high as the last one. It was a draw, stayed a bit down. The only complaint I could really have is that it's low spin. My six iron spin should be way higher than it is. But if you struggle with distance, like let's say you're a low handicap and you're like the shortest hitter in your group, these could be a really good option to start kind of keeping up with your buddies. Something that I can tell you in all of my hits so far, I think I'm around nine hits. Not one of them feels as good as the VGO2. So that VGO2 felt amazing. This feels okay. The numbers are really good. I'm not like wowed by the looks, feel. I think it does actually look pretty clean. Similar to the VGO2, they sent me like a pre-production sample. So it's, it's not as pretty as it could be. I know that it could improve, but like feel-wise, like I said, the VGI02 just like feels like a club that I've never hit before. I'm gonna be thinking of that club all day. They saved the best for last. That one felt really good. Let's take a look at all my data. I forgot to mention how much these are. 159 an iron, so five to pitch is 954. Let's take a look at all this data here. Data. My dispersion wasn't the greatest. I could tighten up with a shaft. I've never been a huge C taper shaft fan. Averaging 220 carry, 236 total. How's that compared to the VGI02? VGI02, I was actually hitting shorter. Wow, interesting. I wasn't expecting these to be as close in data. So I'm looking at the spin. Spin for the VGI02 is 4546 versus 4532. So again, super low lofts on both of them. I thought I was actually gonna be hitting the VGI02 a lot higher, but I was actually hitting it lower. Interesting. My attack angle was the exact same, so at least my swing was super consistent. My stats were almost the same across the board. So I'm glad in my session I was able to get a really good test on being consistent through both clubs. Let's look at the dispersion on this uh, VGI01. So a bit bigger variance in dispersion, and I'm actually gonna put that up to shaft because the VGI02 was a different shaft and I had a way tighter dispersion. So I could see myself improving on the VGI01, but just from like a pure feel standpoint, like I said, the VGI01, they felt good, but the VGI02 felt real good. Super impressed with those. I think a lot of you guys might be thinking like, what does Vice know about golf clubs? Cause that's what I was thinking about going into this video. Like, oh now Vice is trying to get into like the most competitive market in golf. I think this partnership with HOI Golf is really solidifying them as being like a player in the golf club world. All right guys, here's the current data from the Vice VGI 02 and the VGI 01. Like I'm so blown away by my dispersion with this VGI 02. Like that was awesome. So let's take a look at the data that I have from 2022. This is all game improvement stuff. So this right here is the TaylorMade Stealth Iron, the Titleist T300. T300 was actually pretty good. The Mizuno I think won this year. We did a different calculation how we picked a winner. We chose distance minus dispersion. So it's funny to look back at this because now I probably wouldn't consider Mizuno the winner just looking at all of this data. Here is the ping and then Cobra. Cobra was really good and Callaway. But let's look at a couple things here. So let's go back to that vice the VGI02. Average carry 221, 235 total. Look at this tailor made. 221, 236 total. So almost identical carry and total distance between this Vice and the TaylorMade Stealth. Keep in mind the Stealth is now two years old. I got way better dispersion out of the Vice. That is so cool to see. Any, anything else? 223. So what's this guy? This is the Mizuno. So this is what ended up winning. Mizuno was 223 carry, 237 total. And with the Vice, we are 221, 235. Another thing that I'm looking at too is the spin. The spin that I had on the VGI02 was around 4550. So who else was there? So this is TaylorMade, 4400, 4800 out of the Titleist, 4400 out of Mizuno, 4800 out of Ping, 43. Like it's right there. There's really no stat that I can find that would show that Vice is underperforming against these other brands and that's super cool to see. I'm gonna put the data up side by side for you guys to take a look at and you let me know what you think. If you guys are interested in picking up any of these clubs, I'll put a link in the description of this bio where you can check those out. Thanks again for watching this video. If you haven't already, smash subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.